Okay, all right. Uh, we had a uh, good practice today, I'd say overall. Uh, we did have uh, part of our practice with scrimmages, about a 55 play scrimmage with our ones against ones, twos against twos. Fairly equal in the number of reps. We went live as far as kickoff, kickoff return. We had two live reps of that, gave some great information. Then also we had some live extra point field gold as a group, and that was really the first time that we've done that as a total group. Uh, this spring, which was very good. And at the end of the, the scrimmage, we went thud and just did uh, two two-minute situations, um, you know, and just trying to get our procedures down at the stadium with the officials and everything that goes with that. But overall, um, just from in all three phases, uh, I really like where we're at. Uh, we got one week, really, of spring left with our spring game coming up Saturday. So, um, you know, our guys are, are competing. They've got a good attitude. Um, Coach me, coach attitude. So I feel good about where we're at overall. Question? Just the biggest maybe takeaway from one to two. Uh, anything that, that kind of stood out as an improvement? Um, you know, there was uh, there wasn't one thing. Okay, there's really not one thing uh, that really stood out. Other than I like the way that both sides are competing. That's really what's standing out to I me. Mean, not one side's giving in to the other. Or, not one side didn't have any energy today. They both brought, brought great energy. Uh, they both were very competitive. Um, and they're starting to compete. I mean, it's uh, it, it's good this late in spring that uh, you know you you have that. Is there more of a focus on the run of the pass? Though? It was similar probably to, to last week. I don't know the exact numbers as far as pass and run, but I'm going to bet it was in the same um, area, probably 60-40 if I had to, to make a call right now. Uh, in, in the middle of scrimmage, too, I should have said that uh, you know, we kick extra point field goals and I let our snappers and our punters and our returners just by th themselves go out there and we probably got you know a handful of returns and um, you know a couple field goal uh, extra point opportunities. Yes, do, you, do you know yet how you're going to do eight to eight? It, it'll be something similar to what we've done in the past. Um, you know, I think it'll probably be a ones against twos. You know, the good thing is uh, I feel like we have more depth now. And so the twos, it could be a little more competitive probably than it has been in the past, which is always good. But uh, it'll be something like that. I mean, the, the, the challenge we have this year is we've got quite a few that we feel like are ones, even though you have two, I know in one case three at one position. So I look for it to be a real competitive game. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of some of our guys, you know, out there compete in front of a crowd like we do, you know, every year. How do you look to approach from just from a play calling standpoint? That because I know in some years you've been pretty vanilla, but when Nick came back, you really made it a point to throw it around that day with Jared yeah. here. Do you plan to throw it around? You, you know, me and Chip will get together as it gets closer, and uh, you know, we'll have a plan for, you know, what the what the idea is as far as run pass, and then you know, with each quarterback, what our plan is for them. But that'll probably be a Thursday conversation, you know, um, as it gets later in the week. Does, does the fact they're all on TV now, does that limit what you do more than the you, you know, it's kind of one of those things, you know, you, you think back of when Nick was a, um, uh, a senior. You know, we were a little more open than we have been in the past because people kind of knew we had a lot of guys coming back. So every year is a little bit different. But at the end of the day, You've got to do, you know, what's the best for your team, um, and so. But yeah, there's a lot of information these days uh, on TV and in the, in the stands, and so yeah, I'm I'm pretty guarded. Yes. Probably more guarded than most, and I need to be. How do the quarterbacks do? Uh, you know, they weren't live today, and so you know they're in orange jerseys and. You know, when to blow the whistles always, you know, how long you keep it. We, we let the whistle. We, I didn't have the whistle as quick. I wanted to see some extended plays, um, you know, good for the offense and defense. But, you know, it, it's hard for me to make a call right now. It's a little more defined last week, you know, when they go live and they, uh, they either do it or they don't. We asked Jared last week about the strengths and weaknesses. He, he said he had a lot of weaknesses. Guys, we've heard a lot about his strengths, his big growing ability. What, you, you said he said? Yeah, he said he oh, okay. had a lot of Well, you know, I think that's – he's just hard on himself. And, uh, you know, most quarterbacks, you know, usually are. And so he, um, he's he got his handful of things that he's really 
tried to focus on to get better. And uh, I'm sure Coach Lindsey likes that attitude. Uh, he's got to get better. But, uh, you know, I will tell you, he's got some strengths too. And, uh, and a as well as, as our other quarterbacks do, they're all a little bit different. But uh, and just from a quarterback standpoint, overall, if you ask me right now, I've been impressed with the group. Um, I think they've all improved, and I think they're all, you know, doing a, doing a good job of wanting to be coached and, and wanting to get better. Are you seeing some uh, receivers or step up, or, or or who have you noticed? Yeah, that? you know, it's it's good competition right now. I, I'm not ready to point out one guy from from this last practice, but there's been more opportunities throwing the football in practice probably than there has been the last two or three springs, just giving them more opportunities to compete. Um, you know, like we said before, you know, most of them were freshmen last year. They were talented. They got some experience. And so I know Coach Burns has just been, hey, they got to take the next step. They just got to be consistent in making plays. And, you know, I, I think as a group, um, they've improved also. Gus, can you talk about when you walk on receivers, Will Hastings, how he's doing? You know, he had some catches out there again today. I mean, he, he's one of those, we, you know, we, we don't really look at him as a walk-on anymore. I mean, he's he's in the mix competing for, for playing time, and you know, he's done some good things this spring. Speaking of walk-ons, uh, Coach Horton was talking about uh, uh, C.J. Tobin. Yeah. C.J. Uh, is getting opportunity, too. He's in the mix. You know, he's in the mix with those young guys competing. He made a couple good runs today. He's got some – he's got a burst. I mean, he'll, he'll hit the line, and he doesn't need much of a crease. And, uh, and really what stands out to me, he's a tough guy. I like tough guys. Good here, Malik, Malik had a really good scrimmage, you know, last week. You know, um, how did you respond this week, you know, after doing that? Yeah, you, you know, all three, you know, Cameron Martin's had a good spring too. You know, all three of those guys are, are really competing. They're getting a lot of reps. You know, we got a lot of information with Petway and KJ. And Coach Horton's kind of transitioned into – making sure those three get good reps and even with the first group and so it's a really good competition um you know both you know and, and, and coach horton i'm sure he told you all the other day but we're looking for depth you know at the end of the year last year it got a little scary down towards the end with just the number of healthy bodies so you can't have enough depth at the running back position and, and so that's been a focus this spring i'm sorry i guess i meant malik willis but that's a good answer that i can use Story. You said Malik. Yeah, yeah, I meant Malik Wills. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. I just gave about a two-minute off that's, answer that's a good for that. Answer. Okay. People write about it. Okay, Malik Willis. Okay, so repeat that question. He had a good right. scrimmage last yeah. week from everybody we've talked yeah. to. How did he respond to that? Yeah, you know, I think Coach Lindsey's expectations now. You know, is just take the next step, and and I felt like he had a solid week. You know, we didn't get to go live today. And you know, uh, he was he was very effective being live last last week. But uh, I'll have to really watch the film and, and get with Coach Lindsey before I answer that more specifically to today. But he's got something to him. I mean, he's got something to him that uh, he's got some some natural abilities. Considering you have John Franklin that could do things kind of like him, you know, running the ball, maybe put him in wildcat. Would you even consider burning his red shirt? I know it's very early, but would you, you know, I don't think we're ready to even think that way. I mean, he's right now he's competing to play quarterback, and uh, you know we'll know more in fall camp um, as far as red shirts and all that. So, but uh, but he's had a good spring, you know, especially for a guy that should be going to prom right now. Was Trey Matthews back at this spring? Yes, he was. Yeah, and he, he stood out to me. Yeah, Coach Horton's done a good job. He's off to a good start. You know, overall, we've, we've done quite a bit alive this spring, uh, probably a little bit more than we've done in the past. So he's just really wanting to get a good handle and a good evaluation on the guys that for, can for sure do it. And we can accelerate, um, you know, in fall camp. And then the new guys coming in, he can really focus on them too. So that's kind of by design. But he's off to a good start. Um, he's a he's a, a very good communicator. I know our guys have uh, have uh, enjoyed him so far. I and mean, he's a he's a real precise guy too. Do you like the idea of having four or five six coaches kind of involved in that unit? 
Yeah, well, of course, you know, he's our special teams uh, right. leader. Right. But at the same time, he's given some specific uh, coaches some, some duties, and uh, but he's overseeing it. And, uh, you know, of course, Larry Porter has been a special teams coordinator before, too. Uh, Travis Williams was in charge of our kickoff team last year, did a very solid job. So he's got some, some guys that have done it, been successful, and that always helps, too. How, how well is Jared retaining the information that you guys have given him as far as when you step off the practice field, you're going over formation and that stuff, how much is he You talking about Jared? Yeah. Um, you know, he, he does a good job, but he's up at that office a lot on his own. I mean, he's that gym rat mentality. Um, so he's he's real tough on himself about that kind of stuff, but I think he's done a good job. And, you know, the fact that he, what he said last, last Saturday probably makes sense, but... Um, He's done a good job with the communication. There's a lot of moving parts. You know, learning a new offense, learning a new system, communication, getting used to a quarterback coach. And, you know, and Sean White's done a really good job, too. I know he only does seven on seven, but, you know, you can tell Sean is a, uh, a veteran guy, you know, too. Anyway, Sean participates in ADA? Uh, no. No, we're just not. I mean, like I say, he does seven on seven. We're just not going to take a chance on somebody running his arm. Things are going great and just don't want to, or him falling down, and you know, so now he won't participate in A-Day. Anybody right. else at fault that you know of? Uh, you know, at this point, I don't think so. I mean, we've, we've been pretty blessed to, to stay pretty healthy. You know, there's a couple guys maybe just a little bit banged up today, but nothing major, and that's, knock on wood, that's been a blessing.